Hi, my name's John Gotobed. I'm here at YouTube's Winter Wonderland, and I'm with... My name's Mark O'Connor, I'm a producer at XDev Sony. And we're going to have a quick look at Lemmings on the PlayStation Vita. So, for those people who are not up to date with Lemmings, it's quite a long history there. Can you tell us a little bit about the series as a whole? Yeah, sure. Uh, Lemmings has been going around since, um, I think it's been 1991, so it's been a long time in the kind of um, gaming ethos. It's, um, it's you know, various kind of different formats, PC, Amiga, uh, PSP, um, but now we've brought it to the to the PlayStation Vita and uh, it's the first time it's actually been, you know, totally redesigned for the right. uh, the touch mechanics and, and a new portable device, so we're really excited about it. So are we going to see sort of the classic Lemmings gameplay on the new console? That's what we try to do, is keep the classic kind of gameplay and the, the elements of, of Lemmings, um, but we've also tried to update it for today's right. gamer. So it's 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 trying to keep that classic kind of hook. Um, the gameplay is, is very unique to Lemmings, but you know everything around that we've tried to update. So how are the control, uh, the, the touch controls, different to the classic? Are they... Well, the, the the old kind of classic was very point and click. It was either yep. mouse driven or you know um, directional uh, pad or, or button press. And so um, we've now um, moved that more towards a touch mechanic. It's it's very uh, touch friendly. It's it's all on this kind of um, touch uh, interface. So as you can see, you know the menus are nice and colourful, and and we can swipe. Which is stuff. fairly lemming. Yeah, based so it's, anyway. it's it's all very colourful game. It's all to do with kind of uh, yeah, getting the uh, the player used to kind of touching the screen and and, and interacting with the, with the fingertips now. So it was always a very frantic game. You had to try and get the right lemming in the right place to get through the puzzle. Are there any new lemmings that we need to pay attention to? There are. There are um, they're, they're called mischievous lemmings, and this is the first time that we've actually um, introduced these. You know, throughout the franchise, um, right. the brand new um, to this to this game lemmings touch and basically uh, their aim is to to stop you progressing in the level so um now as well as going through the levels and actually uh, helping all the, the the good lemmings as you like and um, get through the levels these are the mischievous ones that cause all kinds of trouble so you have to um, stop them getting to the exit because if they get to the exit they will actually um you know finish the game right so have you got the classic uh, stopper lemmings and the trampoline powered lemmings and that sort of a thing? Yeah, we've got uh, all of the, all of the basic kind of if you if you uh, an old lemmings player or you or you're a, an experienced lemmings player, we have all the same lemming skills. So you've got the blockers, the bashers, the miners, the builders, that type of thing. Uh, but it's just a different way that you interact with them now. We have a, a skill cloud, so you 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 press on a lemming and this little kind of skill bubble appears um, and you assign lemming the new skills right and so can we have a look at the gameplay then yeah to start on a, like, a, like a yeah that's a nice simple level so these are, is basically the, the, new, um, the new levels and this in, illustrates the the touch mechanic and the new features so this is a brand new theme as well this is called space so this is uh you know, as you can see, the levels are kind of really nicely detailed. You can actually now pinch and zoom right into the levels, and all of these levels are really highly detailed, as well as the lemmings. So we've got brand new um, animations and brand new lemmings uh, kind of models in there, and you can get really super close to them now. So it's all about kind of fine detail. Um, and this is the, the skill cloud. Right. So you apply the skills... Um, to, the, to each of the lemmings and um, this is a tutorial level at the minute so it will it actually leads the uh, the player by the hand just been doing this today just broken in the it's either my fingers are broken <laughs> or, or the screen um, so as you can see uh, as well as you trying to solve the puzzle, you also interact with the, the level now. Right. Um, so th this is this is an added benefit for Lemmings Touch because it's now uh, not about you solving the levels and giving the Lemmings the skills. It's actually interacting with the, the Lemmings themselves and the environment. 
So we've got a hundred um, levels in the game. Um, and as I say, we've got a couple of new uh, themes. We've got space and Candyland, and Candyland's basically um, a world full of sweet and gooey kind of donuts and chocolate and candy canes and um, very, very nice, but bad for your teeth. <laughs> <laughs> very nice, but bad for your teeth. And so as you can see, we've got all the lemmings kind of going in towards the the exit now. We've got a fast forward option, which uh, always helps. Always useful. Yep. So as you can see, it's it's uh, it's very kind of user friendly. Um, so we we work on this a new star system now as well. So right. it's all about um, the amount of time uh, and the amount of lemmings that you get back into the the actual uh, levels themselves, and they give you a, a star rating. And what this star rating does, it allows you to open up different kind of clouds and and different um, levels right. of difficulty. Um, so as you can see, some of these are open already, but you can see that um, you have to have a number of um, number of stars to open up the next kind of skill. Okay, so do you, do you need to collect all of the stars to open all of the levels then? Or you can collect um, some of the stars. Uh, the, the, we, what we've done is it purposely allowed you to collect uh, a minimal amount of stars to actually unlock the game itself. Um, but um, it's all about getting the perfect stars, so you might have to go back and revisit um, to get you know, all three stars, or you might have to... Um, you know, collect more stars to, to, to progress further right. into the game. So, obviously, those are the classic lemmings. Is there customization? Yeah, so basically, uh, for the first time in a lemmings game, um, we have an objective system in there as well. Um, right. and, and what this is, it's, it's a kind of a, um, a subset of uh, the actual game itself, and it's like side missions. So, um, the more objectives you do, the more uh, lemmings coins you get, and the more lemmings coins you get, which allows you to buy um, customization options. Right. So it's the first time that we've uh, been able to actually um, customize a lemming. So um, you can go into uh, the customizer and, and give them different kinds of hair and um, different kinds of. Um, Accessories, different types of clothing, you know, snorkels, you know, all kinds of different stuff. Right. <laughs> and so, for some of them, like the pickaxes, the umbrellas, those are the things that are going to come out when you're using that specific power. Yeah, you can change the pickaxe to like a cricket bat on an electric guitar and stuff like that. It still does the same thing, but we just visually kind of um, swap Switch out um, stuff. Yeah. So, you know, we've got different things like glasses and beards and um, moustaches and that type of thing. So you can actually now uh, change the appearance of your lemming and have them look a little bit different and customised to any kind of particular lemming that you, you, you want. You fancy yeah. in any way. So when's the game going to be out? Uh, the game's going to be out early in 2014, so um, I guess just keep in touch with the PlayStation Store and, and, and keep on checking for any updates there. Great. Okay, thanks for chatting with us, and we look forward to seeing more Lemmings in the future. Okay, thank you.